Well, hello there, beautiful people. My name is Python, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival from the Hermitcraft Season 6 server of Epicness. It is episode 17, guys, and I thought we'd start off today's episode by having a little bit of a roam around because we've had a couple of new builds pop up. I'm going to check on the cells of my shops, and uh, yeah, we're going to do some awesome things today, my friends. So, we're going to begin with the modern district because as you can see down here... There appears to be a new building, my friends. This, I do believe, Wells Knight created. It is a post office, quite literally. You go inside, there's a whole bunch of chests here. And uh, yeah, each one's got each hermit's name on it. So basically, I think what I'm going to do from now on is I'm going to go ahead and put Izuma's, uh, you know, shared profits from the flower pot shop. I'm going to start utilizing this. Uh, so, uh, where's my one? Python. Apparently, the light means you've got yourself mail, but uh, uh, yeah. Lol, you've been jingled. No mail. Oh, man, I don't like being jingled. Ah, oh, dude. What the, what the heck, dude? I mean, you know, it's premium dog food at the very least. You know what? Should we go feed our dog with this? I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't see a reason why I shouldn't. Huh? I really don't. Oh, gosh. Hello, lag. How you doing there, buddy? <laughs> so, yeah. Hello. Enjoy. Enjoy. Okay, so he actually liked that. That's interesting. <laughs> Right, well then, guys, let's go check on the sales of our shops. Let's start off with the sugar box shop. We'll check out the flower pot shop in just a second there. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, all of this is still here. Uh, there's nothing in there. I need to go restock this shop. Oh, there's half a stack of diamonds there. And then another eight. So 40 diamonds, four zero. Amazing. Okay, let's go and check out the flower pot shop real quick. Maybe the uh, the flower pots or the flowers have uh, started shifting. We had a couple of cells in the last episode, uh, or the episode before the last one. Uh, oh, hey guys, check it out. Someone's gone ahead and bought all of the flower pots in here. Huh. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, oh, there's an egg. Someone paid with an egg. Yes, I've always wanted an egg. That's fantastic. Right, anyways, uh, there's another diamond in there. And even more diamonds in here. Guys, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, this is actually starting to get somewhere. Okay, so Izumo Void will have 10 diamonds waiting in his post box. The good news is, guys, I've actually gone ahead and uh, re-jingled around my ender chest contents just a little bit. So I'm, bit, I'm a bit more prepared uh, for whatever may wind up needing to be done, right? So, yeah. Oh, jeez, man. Right, so uh, let's get over here. Let's not crash into things with the lag. And uh, yeah, guys, check it out. We've got ourselves a bunch of stuff. There's our flash stock kind of kit there. And then we've got an anvil and some paper here. So if I was to go and put this down and put this in here, uh, flower pot, uh, flower shop profits and what's the date today at the time of me recording this is the 23rd so 23rd 08 18 there you go hey looking good all right zuma so uh not only will he be jingled but he's also gonna have 10 diamonds in there there you go flower shop profits 2308 18 hey not bad guys and yeah like i say we're actually nice and prepared for once i mean look at that look at that we've got another 51 diamonds on top of the nine diamond blocks we have, on top of the 34 diamond blocks that we used to make the beacon in a previous episode. Guys, we are absolutely minting it up, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Looking good. Aha! So, this is the next thing I want to do. Phantom Run. Now, I know that a few hermits have already... Oh. Well, I know that a few hermits have done it already, but uh, I haven't actually seen any of them yet. I've just sort of known that by the titles of their videos. Um, so, yeah, I'm actually going into this completely blind because I was told that that would be a good idea. So, if we were to head way up here and over to Doc M's NHO Nature Reserve Portal of Awesomeness, we should be able to find this place pretty easily. Aha! Yes, there is a boat road here. Right, do we have any... Uh, oh, jeez, oh, man. Do we have any boats in here? Yeah, buddy. All right, let's get over there. All righty, guys, and through we go into the nature reserve. What is that? That looks pretty awesome. Because check it out, there is a massive coral biome here. This is amazing. Dudes, I'm legit kind of, I'm interested in what that is. Hang on a minute. What? What is this? Some sort of weird crashed hot air balloon or something? I have got absolutely no idea. I'm very... Oh. Whoa. Uh, oh, it's like a place where you can grow mushrooms. Gotcha. Ah, that's pretty smart. I kind of like that. It's just a nice, easy design, isn't it? So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. There is Phantom Run. 
Oh, yeah, this is going to be pretty interesting, my friend. So, how's about we go inside and have a wee little bit of a look around? Uh, please read the... In oh, my goodness me. <laughs> Phantom Death Run. All right, here we go. Instructions. Welcome to Phantom Death Run. Only the best and strongest Minecraft players, for example, the NHO, and the Hermits can master this challenge. If you hesitate, you are dead. Make sure to carefully read the instructions. One, press the button on the redstone lamp once. Don't spam, you fool. Hmm, that sounds like the kind of thing Iskar would say. Pass through the airlock doors and walk straight through as soon as the doors open. Look at the phantom in front of you and wait. You cannot hit any phantoms. If you do, it is a fine of five diamonds per hit. Oh my word. Should a phantom die due to your actions, you will get sued for compensation. Oh my goodness me. Uh, put all your belongings in a locker chest. Sleep to set your spawn. Go in naked. You cannot take any items with you into the dungeon. You are allowed to bring food, though... Oh, wait. To regenerate health, the best players manage to make it through without any food, though. Ooh. Okay. And hints. No. I don't want hints. I don't want hints. I don't need no handouts, Doc M. Jeez, dude. Right, so... If I was to come over here, uh, we need to take all of our stuff off. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, poof. There you go. Okay. And there's the Elytra. And there is that. And then we've got to chuck everything else in here, including our food. Uh, this should be pretty interesting, huh? <laughs> Guys, we're going to do this hardcore style. Oh, yes, we are. Uh, the only thing is we, we kind of need to wait for night time to come. So, I think a quick AFK session is in order. I'd love to be able to sleep. Uh, oh, we might be, we might be AFK for a fair while. Hmm. I mean, guys, if we manage to do this first time, then it won't really matter. Right? Right? I can't believe I'm about to try this. Okay, guys, if we could do this without regenerating, then we are gods. Okay. All right. What's going on? Hello. Where? Oh, there he is! Hey, buddy! <laughs> Look at him up there! Oh, he looks so cute just dangling at the top there. That's hilarious. Seriously, what is he doing now? Uh, oh, here we go! Oh my gosh, I can't see! I can't freaking see! This is unbelievable! Okay, wait, uh, ugh. all right. Oh, there's like all sorts of... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Okay, uh, where do we go? Where do we go? Um, wait, what's this? Uh, no, no, no! Jeez, man! Uh, oh! Phantom! Phantom! No! Okay, okay, um... Wait, where am I? Okay, uh, do we have to... Wait... Oh, where is he? Oh, he's up there! He's safe! Ah! Ah! What's going on? Oh my goodness me! Um, right, um... Wait, did we just make it? Hang on a minute. No. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no spoilers. I am not kidding you guys. I did not look at any spoilers. I didn't look at the hints book. I haven't watched any episodes. You've got to be kidding me. I just did that first time. <laughs> oh my god. Guys. We are officially gods. Look at me, baby. I'm so confident I could probably go back in there. <laughs> oh, that is just beautiful. I can't believe I just did that, guys. Y'all are going to drop a like rain for that, my friend. You really do. Right, is this like a score book? Uh, book and quill. Phantom Death Run Diary. Please note down your number of deaths and episode name and number and channel name on this diary. Okay. NHO CEO Doc Thor M77. Oh, I see. He's given himself all these titles, huh? All right. All right. Python. Uh, F. I think this is 17. Uh, zero deaths. Zero deaths. Oh, yeah. F17. Zero deaths. Zero death. Yeah, okay. Let's just do that. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. So we've got Wells on here with zero deaths. We've got False with zero deaths. Azuma's got one death. Biff has got four deaths. Oh my word. What happened to him? And we've got Gree in here with a mere one death. Okay, not bad. So we, we are now part of an elite club of people who completely survived unscathed from the Phantom Death Run. Doc M, 
This is an amazing little mini game you created here, buddy. Well done. And uh, yeah, thank you for the laughs, dude. This is amazing. This is honestly amazing. If you guys haven't checked out Doc M already, then I don't know what's wrong with you. You need to go do it right now. There's a list of every single hermit in the description. Go ahead and check out Doc. He's a really, really talented and technical uh, Minecraft player. And he's just absolutely amazing with stuff like this. So, yeah, Doc. Thank you so much, buddy. It was amazing. Oh, and I just came to the realization that I should probably get my stuff back as well. I mean, we can't have him claiming that kind of stuff. Yes, he made some amazing stuff here, but, you know, it doesn't mean he's allowed to go ahead and take all of, all of the stuff that I left behind like a doofus. There we go. Hey, now we're looking good. <laughs> Oh, baby. So, guys, I've just upgraded my diamond boots to not only have feather falling, but also unbreaking three. Very, very nice. So, guys, I've kind of came to a bit of a decision. Maybe we could set up another little flash stock kind of deal. We've got dragon heads. We've got a couple of spare elytra uh, that I got from the end city raiding trips that I've done before. Uh, talking of which, that's what we're going to be doing in today's episode. We're going to be restocking our shops. That is right. We are going to be heading to the end, grabbing a bunch of epic stuff. Stuffs. I'm also kind of tempted to grab a ton of popped chorus fruit. Oh, well, obviously, we'll grab the chorus fruit and then pop it. And then we'll sell these for like a diamond a stack as well. So, you know, the, the old Python empire can keep growing with the diamonds. It's going to be amazing. But in the meantime, we've got all of these various other things going on here. Like some of these I could combine and get some really cool things out of that I could sell. So, you know, this one here, for example, look at that. Sharpness 4, unbreaking and looting for 22 levels. Ooh, not bad. Guys, we could, like, sell some seriously epic stuffs here. Ooh, I don't know, man. I don't know. It could be a good thing to do. <laughs> nice. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to have a bit of a rummage through here. We can see what we can do. If we can come up with something good, then awesome. If not, then it's not the end of the world. Alrighty, guys. There is one surefire way of getting to Cub and Iskal's XP grinder slash guardian farm super quick. I do believe that Cub has been working on a dolphin super highway in the water and it's going to be fantastic because you can swim super freaking quick because a dolphin's great uh so yeah up oh, there we go yep yeah, there's a ring over there uh so i guess what we got to do is have a little bit of a roam over there i've got my ender chest and a few goodies that i want to to create to sell so yeah here we go uh how close do we need to be to activate it i have got absolutely no idea all i could do is like go over there and just see Okay, still going slow, still going slow, still going slow, still going slow, and going fast. Oh, baby, this is amazing. All right, and yep, there's another one. Yeah, look at you do. All right, uh, what's the next one? Next one is right there. Looking good. Oh, this lag is unimaginably bad. Right, uh, yep, there's the next one. There we go. Are we any closer? No, there's another ring down there. Oh, dude, this is such a cool concept. And would you just look at this place, my friends? Iskal and Cub did an amazing job on this place. It looks absolutely fan freaking tastic. It looks amazing. It really does. So uh, well done on the epic build. So there is a bit of a thing to uh, use in this farm in that uh, you're allowed to use it for free to get XP as far as I know. But then uh, any drops you get have to be put in the chest down here so it can be used to restock, uh, you know, the, the Black Pearl shop. So, yeah. Okay, so, here we go. Okay, and destroy them all. Yeah, there we go. Oh, the lag is unimaginably bad. Someone's got to be AFKing at a really bad area on the server. The funny thing is, 1.13.1 is out, and we were kind of hailing it as, like, the savior of the server, but it hasn't been. <laughs> <laughs> the lag is still super bad. It really, really is. But, you know, it's just one of those things. You just kind of have to deal with it, don't you? So anyways, guys, let's go ahead. And, yeah, we're going to grab ourselves a bunch of levels, combine a bunch of tools, and we are going to get some flash stuff going. Alrighty, uh, you guys, we got one finishing touch to do real quick. Oh, <laughs> hey, Falsy. <laughs> awesome. Just needed the one mending book because I wanted to put it on the pointy looter here so he can sell it for even more because, you know, mending kind of makes any tool or weapon just infinitely better. Like, literally infinitely better. So, I'm hoping that I'll be able to put it on without it costing an absolute bomb. Yep, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. So, we've got a mending looting sword and then a mending workhorse pickaxe. Yes, we have some good stuff going on here. Uh, diamond gear uh equals let's say 20 diamonds because you know they're pretty high end 
Like, this is a generic, very good sword. And this is just a generic workhorse pickaxe. So, yeah, I'm kind of okay with doing that. So, let's put those two in there. Uh, let's see. What else have we got? We've got ourselves a little iron pickaxe. I might bundle that in with all of this epic iron gear we've got going on here. Like, it's all on breaking uh, and, you know, protection of some description. But it's still pretty cool. Uh, elytra. Uh, I don't know. Elytra equals, I'll say, 20 diamonds again. I mean, I know I'm technically undercutting Tango. But do you know what? I'm I'm okay. I mean, yeah, I'm okay with that. I mean, it's just flash stock. It needs to be sold, but well, it doesn't need to be sold. I just want it to be sold. Uh, dragon heads equals uh, let's say five. Why not? Okay, uh, so let's get you placed in there. I like that. And then iron gear. Let's say I don't know something nice and cheap. Three diamonds each. Yeah, I think three diamonds each is pretty good. Three diamonds each. I'm almost thinking two diamonds to be honest with you. Eh. Yeah, I don't, yeah, we'll do two diamonds. I don't want to rip people off. I mean, there we go. Let's do that, and then all of the iron gear will go in here. That will just slot in there. So there we go. New flash stop. We've got iron gear. We've got dragon heads, a couple of lightra, and some epic diamond gear. I mean, look at these things, man. They are incredible. They really are, man. Holy Lord. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to go put a message in the uh, Hemicraft Discord, and he's hoping that we get a bunch of sales. I mean... When we come back next episode, I'm hoping to find, like, more than a stack of diamonds inside this chest alone. Oh, yes. It's going to be a good time, my friends. <laughs> All right. So, in the meantime, guys, I still want to go ahead and uh, stock up these shulker boxes. We're going to try and grab ourselves a bunch of shulker shells. And I also want to grab some more cores through so we can potentially have ourselves a second flash stock chest. Because why not? I think this flash stock idea is a really good one. Because, you know, if people want to grab the stuffs, then, you know, they've got limited time. So, it's going to be a good way to get quick sales, huh? <laughs> awesome stuff. All right, guys, we're going to gear ourselves up and we are going to head to the end. That is right. Here's hoping we don't die horrifically because good Lord above the amount of times we've died horrifically in the end is actually kind of insane. So, uh, yeah, everything's looking good. Uh, let's go put this in here. The pass. We don't really need it on us. Uh, so, yeah, we've got the potatoes, we've got the armor, we could probably do with grabbing some rockets out. You know, we've got loads of rockets on us here. Fantastic stuff. Okay, and um, we probably need a couple shulker boxes. Uh, or do we? I don't know. I mean, yeah, actually, yeah, I'm going to grab a couple shulker boxes out temporarily from the shop, just so we can use them. And then uh, we're going to fill them up with various materials like chorus fruits and uh, all the other stuffs. And uh, we'll go from there, basically. So, I'll grab... Uh, I'll grab two out, okay? Grab two out. We'll have one for Chorus Root and then one for the shulker shells and loots and stuff and doodles and oh, epic stuff, guys. There's going to be so much stuff. It's going to be amazing. So, guys, let's get over there. Let's see what we can find. Alrighty, guys. First end city. We are here. Oh, yeah. It's a good time. It's a good time. Right, now, all we got to do is get down here before I get absolutely bamboozled. Yeah! First one I find and it's actually unexplored, which is awesome. I'll take it. I will take it any day. Oh, yes. Look at that. First two shulker shells. And, yeah, like I said, we're just going to grab pretty much everything we can find and uh, shove it in a shulker box or whatever's around here. Protection for not bad. Look at all this epic stuff already. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool stuff. Cool stuff. All right. So, guys, let's get on with it. I think a little bit of a chest opening montage. And we'll go from there, I guess. Alrighty guys, so with one end city done, I thought it would be a nice idea to actually begin on getting some chorus fruit for our flash stock. I don't know, man. Some people might find usage out of the uh, purple or, you know, maybe even to make a farm. I might sell the flowers for like, I don't know, like a diamond for eight or something silly like that. So if people want to set up their own farms, then they can. So they don't have to like explore the end if they don't really want to or if they're not comfortable enough. All right, guys. And with a bunch of chorus fruits and various other bits and bobs collected, we have our second end city here, my friends. Alrighty, guys, and there we go. We have ourselves a full shulker box of not only chorus flowers and endstone, but of course the chorus fruit themselves. Now, I'm kind of thinking that what I could do is sell little grow your own chorus fruit kits. So you get eight endstone and then eight chorus flowers to plant upon the endstone and selling them for like two diamonds a pop or something like that. Anyway, so uh, yeah, we're looking good, guys. We no longer need to uh, go ahead and uh, get any more chorus fruit, which of course is always nice. Uh, in the meantime, 
I mean, I don't know, man. I think I'm I think I'm pretty good at this point. I've got just over two stacks of shulker shells at this point. So, you know, we're looking pretty good. I could go ahead and continue, but honestly, I still want to go ahead and uh, stock up the flower pot shop as well if I can with some more flower pots or whatever else I may wind up putting in there. Uh, so, yeah, guys, we're going to head back to base. So, yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to stock up the shop and then away we go from there. And ladies and gentlemen, here we are back at the central end island of awesomeness. We have done it, my friends. A successful end trip by every stretch of the imagination. Like, we didn't die. We didn't do anything like that. In fact, we got quite a lot of stuff for our shop. So, yeah, guys, I've got some, uh, I've got some grinding to do. So, I'm going to go ahead and get on with that. And we will go ahead and get the shop stocked up. Let's do it. All right, folks, the time has finally come, my friends. The time has finally come. I've been smelting up a whole bunch of popped chorus fruits here so we can uh, put them in the shop. And yes, I've made a whole bunch of progress with the shop, with the stock since the last cut as well, which I'm going to show you guys uh, momentarily. So there we go. Six levels is now the amount we have. Let's go put these furnaces away real quick. Uh, bada bing, bada boom. Looking good. All right, guys. Uh, let's head into the shulker box shop where we will be able to see all all of the things we've got going on now. So check it out, guys. We've got two loads of flash stock. We have ourselves end items and epic gear all in here, my friends. Now, as you can see, we have each little bit of paper representing what's going on below. So diamond gear, 20 diamonds per item. I mean, come on. Like I said, they're pretty awesome. We've also got Elijah for 20 diamonds. We've got end rods, eight diamonds per stack. Uh, we've got shulker heads, five diamonds per head. And then we've got dragon heads, again, five diamonds per head. And then, of course, iron gear, as you know, for two diamonds per item. Now, over this side, we have flash stock for chorus, popped chorus, and kits. So, hello. Oh, that, that, oh there's an XP crafted walking by. <laughs> well, okay, that's absolutely fan freaking fantastic. So, yeah, here we go, my friends. Just stocking up the shop real quick. As you can see, chorus for one diamond per stack. We've got popped chorus, one diamond per stack. And then we've got a grow kit for do two diamonds per kit. Uh, obviously, separated, you know. They've even been named. Look at it. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah. And of course, on top of that, we've got a whole bunch of shulker boxes in stock. And everything's looking good. Guys, we're going to be making a lot of diamonds from this, my friends. We will be well on our way to our full tier 4 diamond beacon. Oh, it's still going to take a while, but it's going to be... I, I, I'm determined to freaking achieve that this season, my friends. I really, really am. In fact, you know what would be an even more awesome achievement? Is if not only if we had a diamond beacon tier 4, but we also have a gold tier 4 beacon, an iron tier 4 beacon, and an emerald tier 4 beacon. I mean, we're going to have four beacons in our aquatic base, right? So why not have one beacon of each valuable resource type? Huh? Is that not an awesome idea? I think that's a freaking epic idea, guys. I really, really do. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we are in fact going to end the episode there. I'm going to go ahead and restock the clay uh, pot shop off camera uh, because it's going to take a long time. Like, honestly, clay... Claire? What? <laughs> Clay is such a rare commodity on the server that it's literally going to take me hours upon hours upon hours to find a new piece of land that doesn't have its clay completely pillaged. Because as, as far as I know, uh, Wells Knight has been going ahead and mining a ton of it for the various builds he's done in the industrial area and of course the post office there, as you saw earlier in today's episode. So yeah, guys, I'm going to restock the flower pot shop off camera. But for now, guys, time to end this particular episode here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, a like rating would be very much appreciated. Hit the subscribe button. Ding that bell as well if you don't want to miss out on future content, my friends. And uh, yeah, guys, let's go to wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.